First at 11 o'clock, we learned moments ago that all lanes are now back open tonight on the expressway after a crash involving a Metro EMS ambulance and a dump truck caused serious injuries. Hi everyone, I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Lisa Hudson. Seven people are in the hospital as a result of this crash in the eastbound lanes of the Georgia Davis Powers Expressway near the Bells Lane exit earlier this afternoon. Here's what we know tonight. Six vehicles were all involved, including a Metro Louisville EMS ambulance, which was taking a patient to Audubon Hospital. The ambulance had pulled over to the shoulder and was hit from behind. We're told tonight the two EMS workers were trying to subdue a combative patient. Robert Bradfield is live tonight at UofL Hospital with an update on the conditions of those seven people involved in this crash, including a child, Robert. Well, those two EMTs will be staying the night here at the hospital. One is in serious condition. The other is in stable condition. Both are awake and talking, so some good news there tonight. However, Metro Safe has not provided an update to us on the other five people who were injured, including the patient in the back of that ambulance and the child who was taken to Norton Children's Hospital. But I spoke with a witness earlier tonight, and he says he's surprised the injuries were not worse. This dash camera video from Bill Stebbins Jr. shows the moments after a terrifying crash on the Georgia Davis Powers Expressway. You can see the smoke in the distance. People can also be seen running to offer help in this pileup that sent seven people to the hospital. When you see a truck that looked like it had been burned up, you know, it gives you chills. Logan Wells was driving the opposite direction in his semi when he first noticed a charred dump truck and a Louisville Metro ambulance that he described as being cut in half. You see the whole cabs been engulfed in flames and you think, OK, there's a good chance that driver didn't make it out. The two EMTs who were tending to a patient were taken to the hospital. Metro Safe says that ambulance was stopped in the shoulder when it was hit from behind by the dump truck. One of our ambulance was ambulances was transporting a patient to uh, Audubon Hospital. Uh, while they were transporting, uh, witnesses indicate that the ambulance had pulled over to the shoulder. EMT Christopher Haberlin is in stable condition. His co-worker Christopher Barrett is in serious condition. Both joined Metro EMS last April. EMS Director Jody Myman is asking drivers to be alert. We can't uh, ask the public and, and anybody on the streets enough to please pay attention. The crash happened almost two weeks after LMPD detective Didi Mangadote was hit from behind by an MSD tanker truck. Truck. She was killed on Christmas Eve during a traffic stop on I-64. Wells has this message for drivers everywhere. And a lot of times you can't see uh, these, you know, emergency responders or, you know, wreckers or stuff on the side of the road working because there may be a big semi in front of you. But, you know, as soon as you see it, try to at least slow down. Now, I did ask an LMPD spokesperson if charges have been filed in this case, and he told me tonight, to his knowledge, no charges have been filed. MetroSafe also telling me earlier tonight they have not spoken to LMPD about this crash investigation, but we should have clear answers tomorrow. Live outside U of L Hospital, 